you see? It's handling spot on. We're going to have the best chances in the first half. Nearly open the scrum of Franco de Santo broke clear. There was a moment of concern as they went to resume the second half. Steve Keane called the Wigan players back in after they were fierce that the Blackburn defender Gail Jive had a problem with his heart, but that wasn't the case. Jive actually suffered a hamstring injury and was replaced by Radoslav Petrovic. Blackburn felt they should have been awarded a penalty after Anderson Boyce's challenge on Junior Hoylett. Steve King thought of that incident. Referee Mark Clattenburg, though, did not agree with the Blackburn manager. Bigger should have taken the lead. Boyce found Sean Maloney. And moments later, they did. Disappointed for Keane and his side. Boost from the Ewood Park crowd and the final whistle as Blackburn were relegated. Unsavory scenes too as some fans ran onto the pitch to try and confront Keane. The gaffer stood out there tonight and, and took a lot of stick and I've got nothing but admiration and respect for him. I mean, I've, I've been here three months and on a daily basis he's 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 done everything he can. He can in order to push us in the right direction as a group of players, um, motivating, you know, tactics, training, everything. And I think one man who can look in the mirror and say he, he give it everything is the manager. And um, as, as, as gutted as the, the dressing room is, you know, I'll speak on behalf of the dressing room and, and thank him for everything he's done over the course of the season because um, he's had to deal with a lot. And mark my words, he's... He took things on the chin that he, he shouldn't have had to as far as, um, you know, all kinds of situations. And he's backed the players when he's had to. And he's been so motivating in training and trying to, trying to get the best for us. And um, I've got nothing but respect for the manager. Gluffy, big sick. Um, we never performed. Um, I think he's got to go. King's got to go. Sorry. I haven't said it all season, but I'm saying it now. It just shows, you know, when uh, when everyone was protesting in December that they should have listened to, to the fans. You know, Steve King, when they sacked um, Big Sam, you know, they went for the third choice, Steve King, who's got no manager experience at all. Relegation's always on the cards for us, but to be taken down in this manner, it's absolutely shambles. What is it you're most unhappy about? Well, lack of communication. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody. And everybody's speculating this and that, and the suspicion is just that there's something terrible at the root of this club. 